Antibiotics. No, these are keyboards, but antibiotics are the reason why I decided to wait with a new video until I can fart again without shitting my pants. And since I managed to do that, let's say, an hour ago, and this is a real serious YouTube channel, let's talk about keyboards and space engineers, right after the intro. So I hope the topic of this video is less questionable than the second intro in short time starting with a poop joke. But to explain that, not the poop joke, the reason for the video. In some of my channel's comment sections, I've seen some people telling that they don't even know one or the other key combination. So with this video, I'm trying to summarize what I think are the less known. Now let's start with the functions for recoloring blocks. I'm pretty sure most of you do know that you can recolor a block by using the third mouse button. But if you are doing it when having control pressed, it will effect on block groups of 3x3x3. Three by three by three. And with having shift pressed, it is very much the same, but this time with a block group of 7x7x7. Seven by seven by seven. And if you press both at once, it will recolor the whole grid or subgrid. If you want to use a color from a grid, you don't have preset in your color palette. Just point at it and use Shift and P and it will copy the color to the place in the palette you are currently using. That's it about the colors. Now let's talk about copy and paste of grids and subgrids. And this again, I think most of you know how to use Control with X, Z or V for copy and paste of grids. But there's more than just this. Because did you know you can divide subgrids from your build with it? Just hold Ctrl and Shift instead of just Ctrl and not the whole build will be grabbed, but the specific subgrid you are pointing at. This also does work in survival, but only with the copy function for creating blueprints. Or at least if it's enabled in the game or server settings. Okay, one more? If you want to see how your PC is handling the PCU count of your builds, just press Alt and F11 and the game will show you not only the CPU and GPU load, but some other informations like the FPS and the sim speed as well. Okay. One last for today. If you are in admin mode or playing creative and you want to spawn a build but don't want to place it within the 90 degree options the game is seeming to allow, just press B and you will switch to the freely adjustable placement angle. That's it about key combinations for today. And I know there's a lot more to tell about, but since there's no statistics about how many of you do know about these combinations, I want you to tell me if this kind of content is any useful. So please leave your opinions and maybe some suggestions in the comments down below. So far, thanks for watching and please don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next time. Bye. <laughs>